They are hard to miss the two massive office buildings towering over Central and San Mateo. And in recent weeks, they've been touted as a way to expand housing options in that area. But what exactly is coming and when? News 13's Marilyn Upchurch spoke to the city about the plans. This is in many ways a symbol of where we're at as a city. Seeing hope in these buildings is also hope for all of the challenges in many ways that we have in Albuquerque today. Earlier this month, the city officially announced their plans for the two vacant buildings at San Mateo and Central. One tower at the corner of Central and San Mateo was once a bank. The other tower used to be an office building. While they're empty now, the city says the shorter of the two will be the first to see changes. To get the Park Central project done, the city is offering the developers tax breaks. The Metro Redevelopment Agency told KRQE today so far, the developer has only applied for a tax abatement for the smaller of the two buildings, while the taller tower is still in an earlier phase of development. They say the smaller of the two buildings will have 101 units of housing, with some rents below market rates. When people are living in a place, when a place becomes a viable place to live, work and play, you reduce the amount of crime in the area. Catherine Turner, the vice president of the Fair West Neighborhood Association, says the area is excited to see new life coming to the empty buildings. I absolutely hope both will be developed. The more development of housing that we have and the more people we have raising children and working and, and living, the more opportunities we have to revitalize that area. The city says the taller building will eventually see changes too. But in the meantime, the owners of the property have faced some challenges, including vandalism and fires. Making it super nice for the neighborhood and it's kind of hard to do that when people come in and do this. Marilyn Upchurch, KRQE, News 13. City Council still needs to sign off on the tax break for that smaller building. The property owner tells us the 10-story redesign is complete and will be submitted for permitting next month. They hope to begin construction this year. They say construction on the taller tower will start next year.